At a fundraiser on Tuesday, Joe Biden doubled down, or actually he tripled down technically on the claim that once Donald Trump is out of office, all of a sudden Republicans will have this epiphany and they'll start actually being good people. Yeah, um, it's such a laughable claim that I literally can't say it with a straight face because we all know that that's bogus. Now, he said this once. We talked about this, and I think it was July or August. He said something similar to that. He loves praising Republicans, so I've lost count at this point. But in November, he also said this. With Donald Trump out of the way, you're going to see a number of my Republican colleagues have an epiphany. Mark my words. Mark my words. Okay. Now, he has since extended that theory to include another Republican, a very specific Republican who has been the most obstructionist, Mitch McConnell. So <laughs> it's not just regular Republicans, congressional Republicans who will have this epiphany once Trump's out of office. It's also Mitch McConnell. He's also going to change once Trump is out of office. All right, so let's... <laughs> Let's see what he said. Um, this is kind of long-winded, but I want to give you the full context. So this is his remarks. Think about what you're willing to do personally. You're in a group, whether it is a tennis group, a golf club, a sewing circle, a reading group, wherever it is, and you got nine people in the group, and five of them have a view on where, in fact, we're on, on a position, and four on the other side. And one of the five thinks that, well, maybe the four are correct, but unless they're pretty damn sure that if they go with that other group, they're going to win. It's not worth dying on a small cross. So what do you do? You stay away. I predicted once we found that we took back the House, you would find members of the House of Representatives who thought that some of the policies being proposed by the administration were wrong start to step up. No sense in stepping up when you're going to lose anyway, because then you're in real trouble with your own outfit. But it becomes worth it if you step up and it actually changes policy. That's what you are beginning to see in the House, and that's what you begin to see in the Senate. I'm not suggesting all of a sudden everyone's going to project a new sense of courage and political courage. What I'm suggesting is that the dynamic changes when the right vote, as opposed to the vote you don't agree with, becomes a possibility if you vote for it. But when, <laughs> this is so long-winded, but when it's not a possibility if you vote for it, there's no sense in doing it because all you're doing is going to be ostracized by your outfit and nothing's going to change. That's just the way human nature works. Think about it in your own lives. That's how politics works. And so that's why I think you're going to see even Mitch McConnell changing some ideas or being more, how can I say, mildly cooperative. Now, he reportedly paused. I don't have the video of this. He paused before he said that, and then the crowd kind of laughed. So he was watching his words, but he is literally saying he believes that once Trump is out of office, even Mitch McConnell will be more cooperative. And what he's trying to basically, I think, say is that the social pressure to conform will be gone once Trump is out of office. Um, except the problem with that is I'm not sure if Joe Biden missed the Obama years, but Mitch McConnell is the individual who literally stole a Supreme Court vacancy from Obama. Oh, wait, Joe Biden was actually part of Obama's administration. But yet here he is saying that Mitch McConnell is going to change. Mitch McConnell is now bragging about being obstructionist, and he has stated multiple times that in the event a Supreme Court vacancy becomes available this year, during an election year, he's going to fill it. So he's just being obstructionist, bragging about it, and then boasting about what he managed to accomplish. He blocked Obama from putting federal judges on courts, and now he's allowing Donald Trump to stack those positions. Now, one in four federal judges have been appointed by Donald Trump. So for Joe Biden to say this, there's really no way to, you know, uh, describe what he's saying here as other than just insanity like you can't even be kind here like this is moronic to say something like that what an imbecilic thing to suggest does he honestly believe this like i i genuinely believe that joe biden actually thinks this like he's that naive and it's not necessarily because you know he 
thinks that Mitch McConnell is a good person, but because Joe Biden himself is very conservative. He identifies with Republicans. He praises Republicans constantly. So, I mean, why not just run as a Republican, Joe? I get that you were already part of a Democratic administration, but your policies are closer to Republicans in many ways than they are to the left. I mean, you side with them when it comes to being against Medicare for all. You're not in favor of tuition-free public colleges and universities. You've been incredibly hawkish throughout your career. You are arguably still a segregationist. You're just a bad person who's only looking out for yourself. You have an ego. Like, just join the Republicans. You keep praising them. You clearly want to be with them. Join them. We don't want you in the Democratic Party. You do not represent what the left wants. You will not excite young voters. You will not galvanize the electorate. Move on. We're tired of you and your kind fucking up the Democratic Party. Like, this was a party that used to be actually progressive. And now, I mean, the line that separates Democrats and Republicans increasingly is becoming more and more blurred. And, I mean, he honestly believes that he's going to be able to get Republicans to work with him. And part of this, I think, is naivete, but another part of this is more cynical, a more cynical thing that you could take away. I think that he wants to actually fulfill a lot of their agenda. He's indicated before he wants to cut Social Security. He is incredibly hawkish. So when he says that Republicans will work with him, really, I don't necessarily believe believe that he thinks that Republicans will come to the Democratic Party's side. I think that what he's kind of signaling to us in a roundabout way is he's going to meet them more than halfway. That's the only thing that we can take away from this, because a rational human being who sees how obstructionist the Republican Party was during the Obama years, who sees how, you know, obstructionist Mitch McConnell is and brags about it, wrote a book bragging about this, I mean, there's no other thing that you can take away from this. If you genuinely believe, Joe, that they're going to work with you, it's because you are carrying out their agenda and not a left agenda. So I can tell you this. People who are young are not going to be excited to vote for Joe Biden. People who are disaffected, who haven't voted, are not going to suddenly come out and vote for Joe Biden because they believe that he can defeat Donald Trump or they want to defeat Donald Trump. People don't vote against people. People vote for people and for people, politicians, with actual platforms and a policy agenda. So, I mean, Joe Biden, it's like a train wreck, right? You're seeing an iceberg and we're all on the Titanic and we're just sailing right towards it with Joe Biden. If he wins, Trump wins, right? If he's the nominee, I truly believe that Trump will mop the fucking floor with him. This individual is naive. So I am sick of Joe Biden. The fact that he is still a front runner in January of 2020 should scare everyone. Thankfully, the good news is that we have a reason to be optimistic since Bernie Sanders is currently surging. And there's recognition from the mainstream media that he actually is a threat and he can win. So let's all make sure that we go that extra step, that extra mile to make sure that Bernie does win. Because if we truly want to defeat Donald Trump and avoid war with Iran, Joe Biden's got to be defeated. It's that simple. Beta male.